Good morning. We are looking at the heart of selflessness in Timothy as Paul is commending Timothy to the Philippians. He wants to send Timothy, he told them in chapter 2, verse 19. And then in chapter 2, verse 20, we read, For I have no one like him that is like Timothy. But I mentioned to you that no one like him, like him there is, is a Greek term that means no one of the same mind, no one like-minded. It's, it's, it certainly is that Timothy stands out, but that's not really the point. The point is, Timothy is an adequate representative of Paul's heart. He's going to communicate Paul's heart to them, a selfless heart. And so Timothy is, is uh, sort of Paul by proxy, is what Paul is saying. I have no one like-minded who will be genuinely concerned for your welfare. Genuinely concerned for your welfare. This uh, word for concern uh, is used uh, over in 1 Corinthians 12, verse uh, 25, and I, I want to read verse uh, 26 as well, just to give you the context. It says that there may be, and this is in the context of body life, that there may be no division in the body, but that the members may have the same care for one another. Same care, that's the word, for one another. If one member suffers, all suffer together. If one member is honored, all rejoice together. So I mentioned to you uh, that Timothy's selflessness was characterized first by authentic authenticity, genuinely concerned. His real self presenting what's real with them. But selflessness is presenting your real self, but doing it in a manner that is concerned with the genuine situation of another. And the term in Greek here, I think is just, it's a broad term, like, like our word care. And that's how we should think about it. A heart of selflessness is a heart that actually cares. And that shows up in a lot of ways. Sometimes that shows up in a, a with a real weight, a sense of deep emotive connection and concern. Uh, kind of like verse 26 there in 1 Corinthians 12 says, when one member suffers, all suffer together. There's that idea. There's a mutual suffering. Care means that um, at the very least, you're just on my radar. So one of the things I want you to think about is who's on your radar and are the right people on your radar and are people on your radar? Are your, are your eyes up and out looking for people? Are, are, is that how you enter in to uh, your church on a Sunday morning? Is that how you go about life in your community? Is that how you go about life with fellow believers? Um, Paul wants Timothy to go because he sees someone whose heart is invested. Ministry is personal. And if it ever is impersonal in their, and people are used as widgets, people are um, just seen as numbers, stats, if if it's all metrics, that's not ministry. Ministry is when I care for you and you care for me. There's a mutuality that's happening here. And Paul, he wants to send Timothy because his selfless heart is first authentic and genuine. It, there's authenticity. But second, there's affection, care that is invested. So if you're going to be selfless, you're not going to be able to be selfless guarding and shielding your own heart. You'll only be selfless because you put yourself out there and really care for people. Eyes up, hands extended, heart open, right? Eyes up, hands extended, heart open, paying attention to the needs of those around you, where you really are invested in their lives in a personal way. I hope you take that seriously today. Look for somebody you can invest in. May the Lord bless you.